Hello friends! Welcome back to our Paper Circuit Summer. I'm so glad you're joining us. Today is our last day of wearables, so we're going to be making this gorgeous little LED ring today. It is our Friday victory lap. It shouldn't be too bad for wiring it up. There are some fun tip trips. What? I don't want to say tips and tricks to make it work for you guys, but I think we'll have a really good time and I'm super excited that after class today in Zoom, we have our talent show! I'm so excited to see everybody who has been working on something to share in the talent show. It'll be a lot of fun. For our friends who just come and join us on YouTube, that's awesome. You're always welcome to join us on YouTube. But if you want to get into our Zoom room, you can go check us out on Patreon.com. It's a dollar a week, which is only $4 a month for tons of science programming, lots of downloadables and templates and help and all that good stuff to make sure that your summer is fantastic as well as into the school year. I know there's a lot of schools going online in the fall, and if you are a parent that's like, <gasps> What am I going to do for science? You can always come to me and you can just set them up and we will have fun together. And I wanted to show you guys real quick what we're going to do next week. Zoe had an idea of going underwater next week and I thought it was fantastic because I love the water. I love living right by the water. We've been kayaking a lot and I get to see crabs. I think I mentioned I saw iridescent squid eggs recently and seals and all of that good stuff. And I wanted to sort of pay some homage to that and so we are going to go into the sea and we have one project that's going to be wiring up a box that will help make it look like we are in the deep blue sea so i only have four projects here and you will also need an amazon type of a box for next week if you're joining us but we're going to make cute little guys like some iridescent jellyfish and we'll learn some interesting facts about them i won't tell you now because that's gonna be for next week. But we have a jellyfish, we have a deep sea diver, which I think is so cool. And I love this, the diver can like turn their head, which I think is super cool. Um, we are gonna have a submersible submarine. The light is on, but I feel like you can't quite see it. You can see it in the back, I think. But it looks really cool under sort of the blue lights of the water. It looks really cool, like you're gonna go down to the deep and check out the Titanic wreck. And then we have a favorite, the female anglerfish. And we are gonna get to learn a lot about that one. And I love this one because the LED like hangs out, which I think that is fun. One's my favorite. This one's your favorite? I like that. That's a fun one. So that's what we're doing next week. So make sure that you put in your plans, 9 to 10 a.m. Pacific, come join Dr. Erica for Paper Circuits because we are gonna be doing those live every day next week. And if you can't catch us live, you can always catch us later on YouTube. And you don't have to come to them all. You can... Yeah, you can come to some. Come to what works for you. If you're like, Monday, I always have this time slot and my kids are so bored, but I need to get some emails out, send them to me. We'll have fun. Um, all right, so today we are going to make these magic LED rings. And before I get to our shout out, so if you do want a shout out, make sure you type it into a comments box somewhere. Evan has like his like hands in every little bucket, so he should see most of what comes in on we're here say hello um you are going to i'm going to tell you what you need so you want to print out our template if you don't have a template it's really not a big deal you can actually do this without the template piece pretty simply um but we have the template that you can cut out that will help you get those pieces ready to make your ring and like usual just say i usually print on a cardstock template you are going to need a pair of scissors so that we can cut out our templates you need a punch of some sort. So I've been using a metal piece, which is sort of like a um, thumbtack. If you have a thumbtack, that's a great way to get it started so that you're not like crunching up the paper to get it through. It just pokes through really quickly. And then you make it bigger with something like a pencil. And that's a great easy tool. You need some conductive tape, so some sort of metal tape. We use copper tape, but there is also aluminum tape that you can get. Um, or you could use aluminum foil. You need a non-conductive tape. So these are our last little bits of our alien washi tape. Whoops. Um, so a masking tape, a washi tape, a, a scotch tape, electrical tape, duct tape, all of those tapes that are sort of plasticky or papery will work great as your non-conductive tape. And then we're gonna light it up. So we need a light we need an LED and you could choose whatever color you want we also have some rainbows that we might have available 
Um, and then you need a battery. We've been using 2032 batteries. These are called CR2032. And you can get them at the supermarket, you can get them online. I suggest if you're doing lots of projects with us this summer, buy them in bulk on Amazon, go get a hundred pack. You'll use them, especially because I know a lot of kids, once you guys get the hand paper circuits, they all want to go make their own projects and then you'll be using up batteries and like everything. It's fantastic. Um, there are other coin cell batteries that you can use. I would just suggest making sure that it's three volts. And also if you find ones that are like thinner than this, that means they're not going to last as long. So maybe a project that would last five days always on with a battery like this one might last two days with a thinner battery. And that's also why we try to put switches into everything so that our projects can last a little bit longer. All right, before we start, let's say hello to who we have with us today. Who do we have? We have got the good kids. Oh, hello, John and Ellie. Hello, and maybe Rachel's gonna join you guys to make a ring. Or maybe one of you guys could make her a ring. Oh. She would love a ring, I bet. I think she'd love a ring. This seems up Rachel's alley. Yeah, you can make multiple rings. Yes, it's not that far. you can. That's true. We have Naomi. Hello, Naomi. It's good to see you. And Hopefully she's yeah. awake. <laughs> I, she, 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 she might not be awake. She might be awake. Uh, she might be waking up soon. We've got Kaya. Hi, Kaya. Oh, I'm so glad you're here today. We missed you yesterday while you were in Spanish class. But I think it's really cool you're learning Spanish. And we got Brody, Zoe, and Chase. Hello, Brody, Zoe, and Chase. It's awesome to see you guys here, too. And that means that we have at least one trumpet player Ooh, in our talent one. show. At least one. So Wait, that's good. Hopefully at others least. will come. Minimum one. Yes. All right. Shall we get started? Oh, I do need to say hello to Rohan and then Atia and Tamsin and Laurel because I know they come. Hassan. So, and Hassan. So hello to all of my friends that I know come a little bit later. And well. Renee from and Boston. Renee. Our friend Renee from oh, Boston. Oh, hello Renee from Boston. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. <laughs> She's coming so she can make super cool LED rings. Yeah, I know it's true, Renee. Naturally. I know it's naturally. true. It's going to be used in her cosplay. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to cut out our rings, and that is just this little chunk of the template. And like always, we're just going to be cutting around the thick black lines. Now this one is just a strip. If you have something other than paper that you would want to make the um, ring ring part, so the part that goes around your finger, you could use whatever you want for that. I just put a strip here so that you guys have it, but you don't have to use that. You Maybe you have a different you type could of paper. You also like cut it off this right here. Yeah, and George is saying you could cut it off other parts of your paper if you want it thinner or not as thin. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. About to sneeze there. All right, our allergies are going around this year. And this is the year I feel like it's not acceptable to have allergies. Like, you're not allowed to be allergic to anything this or, year. Or sick at all, yeah. Which makes it really hard for me because I am allergic to a lot of stuff. All right, so there's that piece. That'll be my finger wrapping piece. And then we have this piece that's going to hold our battery um, in place. Maybe I'm allergic to the camera today. I'm feeling like mm. I'm going to sneeze again. If I could get away with one sneeze, that'd be great. I'm that person that sneezes like 20 times in a row. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Isabella always sneezes three times in a row. Yeah. Oh, oh, like, what's up with that? Why do some people sneeze like X number of times? It seems so peculiar. All right. So I have my two pieces cut out. And if you don't have the template, you can just trace around your battery and then trace around your battery again, like a little bit lower, because you'll notice these fit our battery beautifully. And then you can just cut it out so it looks kind of like a B. And then what we're going to do is there's these two gray dotted lines right here that we're going to use to fold it. So we're going to fold, we always fold in towards the circuit so that in the end we will hide our circuit. So I folded these and it looks kind of like a little clamshell. Our buddy Hassan right. just got here. Oh, hello Hassan. I'm so glad you're here today. Yay. All right. And then we are going to poke a hole in this black hole right here, and that's gonna be so we can pop the LED through to the other side. So you can just find like what you think is the middle and then poke a hole. I always go with a metal first because I find it just breaks through that paper better, and then you can make that hole bigger by sort of twisting 
some sort of pencil type of a thing. And you wanna make it about the size of your LEDs. I have little three millimeter LEDs for these projects, but sometimes some people have the bigger five millimeters and that's totally fine. All right, so now we've gotta wire it up. So let me tape this up to Curious George and we'll get started. This is like such a small little one. It's gonna be hard for some younger hands just because it's little. But you always gotta give it your best shot first and then we'll see where we get to. All right, so you'll notice I only have two really small pieces of wire I'm gonna have to put in. One is just this tiny straight piece for the long leg and the other one is the short leg that makes this L. And those of you who have never done paper, cir paper circuits with us, Renee, I'm gonna show you a trick with your copper tape. So you wanna get it started, and once we get it started, it kinda of looks like this. You can peel that paper back. Yesterday, Georgia actually showed us what happens. Sometimes this paper can stick to the copper tape and it can actually split in half itself and you have white on the copper. So you wanna make sure that your copper tape looks coppery. And then you're gonna stick it straight down to the template. You don't want to peel it all the way off like this because it gets curly and loopy and often really difficult to manage. All right, so you wanna get it started and then you're gonna lay it straight down on that paper. So let me get this one started again. I usually use my nail and I sort of smush it down. And then I'm just gonna do this long leg right here, just a really small piece that I just press down and then you can rip it with your nails or you can cut it, whatever floats your boat right there. And then I usually use the fingernail and I will press down on it like that. And then I even have enough to make this guy. So now we're gonna go straight down and we're gonna turn the corner and we don't want to cut it so that we have sort of two pieces of copper tape making that corner because you'll notice if I have two pieces of copper tape, I have a gap between them. And this copper tape is acting like a little highway for electrons. And if I have two highways that go one above each other, I can't get onto the top highway unless there's an exit ramp, right? I can't just like take my car and pack it up to the next highway. So we like to bend our copper tape. And the way that we do that is when you get to the spot you wanna turn at, you sort of just pinch it and kind of like egg it on to go in the right direction. And then you just press it down further down the line like that, and then when you press it, it makes the bend for you. Just kind of a clever way to make that happen. All right, and we do wanna make sure mine's a little bit long because if I put it out here, it's just about to go out of that green circle. We need to stay inside that green circle, but you can smush it in with your nail. And then again, we can press everything down with our nail just like that. All right, so now we are gonna put our battery in. And here is the trick for the battery. We have to put the battery in and tape it on this side only. This side needs to be completely free to make contact with what will be the LED leg in this piece of um, copper tape here. All right, so this side of our battery that's right below where the long leg goes gets zero tape. All right, the tape is all gonna go on the half that comes up with that short leg. So I'm gonna get a little piece of my non-conducting tape right here. And I am going to tape this guy in. I don't wanna tape all the way up because I'm gonna need this piece of copper exposed for later. But what I can do is I can come down a little closer, just like that, and I can press it in. Can I please have some copper tape? Yes, Georgia, there you go. Thank you for asking so nicely. And now I have this extra tape here. I could fold some of it around, especially if I'm using clear tape, and I'm gonna cut some of this off. You could rip it off too. I'm gonna cut it just to be careful that I don't like sort of pull everything off at the same time. All right, there we go. So again, it's really important that we leave this side of the battery, the whole part of that side of the battery open. All right, that's really important that we do that. Now we are almost done, which is shocking. We need to pick out our LED. So we have all different colors of LEDs and I'll show you guys how to make sure they go on. So you have your battery and your battery has a top which has all the writing on it and it has a bottom that is usually sort of like a polka dotty bottom. 
There's only four ways to put this on. We could put both legs on the top, which you'll notice does not light up my LED. Or we could put both legs on the bottom, which does not light up the LED. And you might be like, Dr. Erica, of course, because a circuit is like a circle, and right now we have no circle going on. We do need to make a circle from the top into the bottom, and there's two ways to do that. One way is to put the short leg on top and the long leg on the bottom, which would look like this. So it's sort of, you're just sort of slipping the battery in. And you'll notice my LED does not light up. And that is because the electrons in the LED, they're like, it's like a one-way street. And so the, the electrons go down a slide in the LED and they have so much fun that they light up as they go down. The only thing is, is that the electrons are super good rule followers, so they will never climb up a slide. They will only go down it. So if you're noticing that, you could flip it around where the long leg is on top and the short leg is on bottom and that will light up for you. Now you can decide what color, like I don't want white. I'm hoping for actually rainbow. There are some rainbows in here, which I like better. Just because it adds a little movement. And you can go through and you can test things. Yesterday I was, I had them all out and ready. But I thought I put a big pile of my rainbows into this clear area thinking, oh, that'll be easy to find. Apparently it's not. Oh, here's a rainbow, all right. I've got one rainbow here, this one's like a big rainbow, and that's okay, I don't mind. So I know now that my battery works and my LED works because they are both on at the same time. All right, I'm gonna pass this over to Georgia for when she gets to our spot. Now we are gonna stick the LED legs through the bottom. All right, so we want it so that you just stuck it through the bottom, the LED is on the top of that. And then we need to make sure that that short leg comes over here and the long leg goes right here. And we are going to tape in just the short leg. The long leg is gonna stay out by itself. Now we could just make it do the splits like that, but then it's a little easier if we bend this guy down a little bit. All right, so that they bend down and touch that metal a little bit better. All right, so I have it sort of looks like a staple now. The legs look like a staple. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take some of this tape. Well, I can use this piece right here. I'm gonna tape in the short leg with a piece of non-conductive tape. I'm gonna press really hard on it. I can cut off these edge pieces. Those bother me. And then I can test it. So again, new trick. I am not taping in my long leg. All right, my long leg is actually gonna make a direct connection with the top of that battery. So when I close it, you'll notice it lights right up. If I tape over this, then I have tape between all of my metal pieces and the top of the battery. And tape is non-conductive. So if I have tape over this part and it's touching this part, then I have that big gap in my highways and they're on different levels and my cars can't get there. All right, so now I have this. It should light up for you right away, which means you're pretty much done, all right? We can use either little tiny magnets or like just a little piece of tape like this as our way to hold this closed. And you can leave the tape that goes around, that's totally fine. Because then when you want to, what you'll do is you'll just open this up when you wanna turn your ring off and you'll just open it up, your ring will be off. All right, so now we need to add in our piece that goes around our finger. So we're gonna add this piece in next. So what you'll do is you'll just wrap it around. Choose the finger you wanna go on and you'll just wrap it around just like this. And just a reminder, if you are, if you fall behind, you can always, and you're on YouTube, you can always hit pause and you can pause or rewind to go over any of those parts. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little piece of tape. I'm gonna measure my finger so it's nice and comfortable. You don't wanna go super tight or super loose. So I'll measure it, it'll be nice and comfortable. I'm just gonna tape around this part to tape that ring piece together. Just like that, it's now like a little ring. And then I'll do the same thing, I can just tape it. If you have hot glue, and you guys know I am a big fan of hot glue, you could actually hot glue this, it'll work better. But you don't need to, you can do it with all tape. Slow rainbow. Ooh, Georgia found a slow rainbow. Look how slow it is. All right. I see. If you're taping it, you are going to put a piece of tape so it's sticky side sort of up 
onto the inside of this ring so that you can have so like right now I've got the tape on the yeah. inside of the ring and it's going to be able to stick to this piece right here so we can wrap those pieces around just like this like that and I have a beautiful LED ring isn't that amazing now here is one of the things I did with this one to make it kind of cool from here it's all you decorating do you want to put like cotton on top to make it really diffuse do you want to put um, extra big jewels do you want to glue big jewels around it to make it extra fancy do you want to add some metal wiring around it it's all completely up to you but I'll show you what I did on this one to make it sort of look like a flower I just cut a strip of paper a nice long strip all the way down the page and I just rolled this up so I rolled up that strip of paper and it takes a moment you can roll it as I would roll it pretty tightly and then we're just gonna slap it on top and you can add some tape around the edges or again if you if you love to use hot glue like me you can use some hot glue for it and the hot glue makes it all look a little bit nicer but this paper on the bottom right here gives you a great base to add a lot of great stuff especially if you use hot glue so all I did was I sort of you can just put that on like that especially if you have hot glue this can be really easy you can just glue it but if you have tape you can tape sort of around the edges to keep it in do make sure that you're not taping sort of like if you're using glue glue on the top piece not sort of around all these edges right so because if you glue around all of these edges you won't be able to open up this top piece like this right so we've got our switches literally being able to open up this top piece so taking off this tape and opening that up that's what turns it off so you don't want to glue all the way around so you can't do that so that's the only thing you got to think about as you're being creative but I am definitely gonna pull out my hot glue gun in a little bit and I'm gonna glue this stuff on so it looks like that and I'll have this beautiful LED flower ring that'll be really fun to go and I don't know enjoy afternoons with or go to like a disco dance party with and that is our project for today I hope you guys enjoyed it oh I'll help you guys in zoom so if like Georgia, you're working on getting your LED in. That's awesome. She has got it all wired up already, which is amazing. So I will help you guys over in Zoom if you need help in Zoom. And we will also have our talent show over in Zoom. And just a reminder, if you want to get into our Zoom room, you can always do that at patreon.com slash Research. We will be here all summer long making cool paper circuit projects. And if you have something that you really want to do, you can always tell me. And we will try to make it happen because I love these new ideas. I would not have thought of Undersea and it's going to be amazing next week. All right, my friends, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I will see you on Monday as we go under the sea and I will see all of our friends in Zoom as we troubleshoot our projects, make them work and celebrate with the talent show. Goodbye. <laughs>